Folks, Bobo here. Welcome back to 3 Zen. So, once a month when I was in Air Training Command, we had continuation training meetings, CT meetings. They were required by regulation, otherwise we probably wouldn't have had them. But at any rate, uh, we would sit down, it was uh, convened by the flight commander, and we would cover all kinds of things related to student training, uh, grading practice, uh, safety issues, uh, just about anything. If sometimes there were things that came down from headquarters that they asked us to discuss, and and so forth. Uh, once a month, we'd have these meetings, and then we would have uh, people that would come in to monitor the meetings. Primarily, Stan Aval had a rep. Check section had a representative. Uh, the squadron command section would send in either the ops officer or the squadron commander. And uh, we might have a guest speaker, like a flight surgeon, uh, come in and talk to us. Uh, just a myriad of things. Well, in 1982, I was in D flight, dog flight, at uh, Randolph. And uh, so we decided to have this CT meeting. Uh, Captain Fred Prossy was a flight commander. Joe Durego was in there. Henry Huggins was in there and uh, a few other notable characters. And as we're prepping for our, our November Thanksgiving um, CT meeting, it came to mind that why don't we have a Thanksgiving dinner here for this meeting, something a little bit different. So we closed up the flight room uh, early in the morning um, and pushed the tables all together in one long line. We sent a couple guys over to the officers club to get some plates, really nice plates, some wine um, goblets, water glasses, silverware, tablecloths, of course tablecloths, a couple chandeliers, I mean why, why not, it's going to be a great event. And we kind of walked everything in through the back door. And then, to top it off, we all uh, decided that since this was going to be a formal deal, we'll dress formally. So we all changed into our mess dresses, our formal, um, uh, well it's a mess dress, formal uniform. So we started mustering in the flight room around 11.30 or noon and of course the squadron commander was going to be invited, was invited, but we didn't tell him it was formal and we didn't tell him what we were doing. The guy was a jerk and so we thought well let's just have some fun with this numb nuts. We didn't tell the Santa Val guys either. Anyway, so uh, the event shows up, and by the way, the wives, the wives all came in line with us. That was great. We had a turkey, we had uh, uh, ham, mashed potatoes, uh, dressing, all the gravy, all the fixings that come with a uh, uh, formal dinner, Thanksgiving dinner. So here we have this flight room all set up, and the squadron commander. Like I said, he was a little bit of a jerk. And um, I had known him for years, and I really didn't particularly care for him. He was a matrix lieutenant colonel commander, too. He, if there was an event that occurred, he would go to some regulation or another, chase through it till he found the right matrix to determine what to do. Give me a break, you know? And so he'd go down column A, down and chase through the matrix, and then he'd hammer a guy. I, I did not care for that at all. Anyway, I, let me get back to the uh, Thanksgiving lunch. So we were all standing around at that time. Squadron commander opens the door. <laughs> and here you have a bunch of guys. Now imagine this. You have a bunch of guys standing in at attention when he walks in. And uh, he steps through the door and freezes. I mean, he just went. His whole body froze. He didn't want, he didn't want to do. God, that was great. So anyway, we said, sir, welcome to our November continuation training meeting. Please come on in and have a seat. So he walks in, and all eyes are on him. And we, I don't know, there was a couple of, uh, well, the chief of Stan Val was there. I don't know if we invited the DO there or not. Anyway, so we're sitting in there having, we had invited him into dinner, and he kind of walks in, and takes a seat, and he's more nervous than a whore in church. And... Uh, about that time, we said, okay, for this morning, our first guest speaker is going to be the chaplain. 
So the chaplain walks in, stands up. Everybody stands up and he says, listen, offer a little bit of prayer. You can hear the jets rolling outside. That was so cool. We had a, a prayer of thanksgiving. And then we sat down and proceeded to eat. It was so cool. Then about this time, oh, maybe 10 minutes into the, the dinner, in walks Henry Huggins. And uh, Henry was, his, his call sign was Hollywood. And he was Hollywood all the way. So ho Hollywood walks in in full camo. He's got all his camo gear on. He's carrying a shotgun, a twice barreled shoots gun. And he comes walking in and he had shot a turkey that morning. So he brings the turkey in with him. So he walks in and he says, sorry, I'm running a little late. He says, I think we can still get this clean for dinner. Anyway, so he walks in and everybody just going nuts. So everybody kind of got a little bit of a laugh out of that. So Henry goes walking out of the uh, flight room. He's walking down the hall and a general officer of some flavor walks in, looks at Henry carrying a rifle or his, his twice barrel shoots gun and uh, the turkey. And he looks at the guy he was flying with. He says, I hope this isn't an everyday occurrence. Henry goes out, tosses the bird in the truck, and um, comes in, changes clothes, and then he joins us. So we're all sitting down having a, just a great dinner and covering topics as required, kind of going through the checklist. And then the door bursts open, and in comes Jim Fowler and the IPs, the instructors from uh, B Flight. Used to call it the Beaver Flight until it started to offend somebody. Well, Jesus Christ, get a life. Anyway, so... Jim and the B-Flight IPs come, come into the room and they're all dressed up as Indians. Somehow they got in wind of what we were going to do. So they are all dressed up as Indians and they're hooping and hollering. <laughs> they're circling the table. They had makeshift tomahawks and bows and whatnot. And uh, it was really quite... And meanwhile, the commander's sitting there going, what the hell, I've lost control. <laughs> you know, you've never had control. We just let you think, okay, fine, Go have a nice career. So they're circling the table, hooping and hollering and everything. We we invited them to sit down and have a bite. We kind of pushed aside, got some plates for them. And so we're breaking bread, breaking turkey with the Indians. It was so cool. So then they get ready to leave and they walk out. And here comes the general officer again. He says, I have no words. Just no words. He's easy Indians heading back to, to B flight. But we could get away with things like that in those days. And it was so much fun. We had such squadron unity in the 560th at that time. It was fun to go to work. Um, fun to fly with the students. Um, the commanders kind of came and went. Um, you know, it's one of those, come in, get your ticket punch. Yeah, you're a pretty kid. Go have a nice career. And off they went. Um, be that as it may, we just had a blast. And... Uh, Every Thanksgiving, I think back at those guys uh, very fondly. It was it was a lot of fun. Should have been there. At any rate, uh, this is Bobo wishing everybody happy Thanksgiving as we head into the silly season. Uh, I'll have a few more things to say between now and uh, Thanksgiving Day. This just came to mind here this morning to kick the season off. So, with that, this is Bobo Base Gear. Stop.